Life Rock Kindergartners. I miss all of you so much. It's Mrs. Van Cherry. And I've been talking a lot to Miss Rocco and Mrs. Fusco. And this week you get to see me. I'm hoping you're all home with your families and you're loving spending some time with them while you're away from school. But I have something very special for you today. I know that you love books and we've been reading a lot of books together. And in my bin right here that I have, I have a couple of books that I thought you might like. Let's take a peek and see. I have No David. I have David Gets in Trouble. And I also have David Goes to School. And this is the one I wanna share with all of you today. And we're gonna think about one thing. Maybe you can share it with your families too. Remember when I've been in your classrooms and Mrs. Fusco and Miss Rocco have been in your classrooms? We've been talking a lot about our superpowers, our reading superpowers. One of the things we've talked about is our picture power, using our pictures to help us as readers. Well, today we're gonna do that while we're reading. David Goes to School. Are you ready? I can't wait. David Goes to School by David Shannon. And something we know about David is that he always is a little bit naughty, isn't he? So let's see what he does here in David Goes to School. David Goes to School by David Shannon. And remember, we're using our picture power today. David's teacher always said, no, David, no yelling, no pushing. No running in the halls. David, you're tardy. He's coming in a little bit late, isn't he? That word tardy, that means late. Oh, well, let's see what he's doing here. Sit down, David. Oh, he's getting up in front of the whole class. He shouldn't be doing that, should he? Now, this next page, I have something really special on this page that I did. And you're going to help me as readers. You're going to help me figure out what this word might be by using this picture. Ready? Don't chew hmm. in class. Let's think, what do we know we can do as readers? We can use our picture power. What does it look like he's doing? He's pulling something. Could it be, hmm, Play-Doh? Hmm. Could it be something like putty? I don't know. Oh, you think it might be gum? Don't chew gum in class? It looks like it could be gum. Let's look at our first letter too, like we know we can do. I'm gonna pull this off. Let's see if we have the letter that makes the g sound. Did we get it? We did, it's a letter G. Let me take it off and see the whole word. Don't chew g um gum in class. High five, you got it. Let's go to the next page and see what David does. David, raise your hand. Oh, he's just shouting out. Oh, another blue post-it. That means we have to use our picture power. Let's see what we can do. Keep your Blank to yourself. Hmm. Help me out, Brock, Brock Kindergartners. Let's see. I'm looking at the picture. I see something here reaching out. It's his, what is it, his fingers? Let's see. It could also be maybe his hands. If we want to pull this paper off right here, this post-it, and we want to see if it's fingers or hands, we need to stretch that sound. Let's see. Let's open up that first, let's see that first letter. 
There it is. It's the letter H. H. Let's see. Keep your hands. We got it. It's hands. Keep your hands to yourself. Let's see. Oh boy, he's looking right out the window, not even looking at the classroom. He's imagining all sorts of fun things. He's imagining he sees a dinosaur with the cloud. But his teacher says, pay attention. Oh, he's in the lunch line. He's doing something he shouldn't. He's going right to the front. Wait your turn, David. Here's a big mess. David's starting a food fight. Wow, that's something we never do at broad school. I don't care who started it. They're trying to blame each other, aren't they? Now he's outside for recess. You probably have recess at your house. You probably go outside and play too, don't you? I know my girls do. David, recess is over. He keeps on playing with his ball. And he comes in and he's making a big ruckus. What is he doing? He's banging on his book. He's making it like it's a drum. And the teacher says, shh. He has to go to the bathroom. And the teacher says, again? Oh boy, here's something. I can't believe he does this. Whoa, what did he do? That's right. He drew all over his desk. That's it, mister. You're staying after school. What does he have to do? He has to clean the desks. David, have you finished? Look at them sparkling. All the desks are sparkling clean. I see another blue post-it. Let's see if we can figure it out using our picture. Picture power. I see the teacher. She's giving him a star. He looks happy by this smile on his face. And the teacher says something to him. Let's see if we can use it our picture to figure it out. Good blank, David. Hmm. Well, he's happy. He cleaned the desks. He's feeling pretty good about himself now. Could the teacher say, good job, David? So if it's the word job, what letter would I see first? That's right. I would see the letter J, 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 let's see, good job, David, you were right. And I think his teacher's very proud of him for doing a good job at the end. Now he's running away from the school because it's the end of the day. Yes, David, you can go home now. And all his friends are waiting for him. So remember, moms and dads and boys and girls, when you're reading, when you're reading to them or when you're reading to yourself, boys and girls, making sure you're using your picture power. We're gonna think, what do we see? We look at the page and we use it to help us. So I hope you enjoyed this book, David Goes to School. We will be back reading another book. Maybe it'll be Mrs. Fusco, maybe it'll be Miss Rocco, but I miss all of you. 
I'm going to send you a big hug right through the video. Ready? One, two, three. Bye. See you all soon.